always there. The university, the Catholic University of Hungary and in general. I'm just like doing these quality points in this way. Okay, uh, first of all, let me thank the org the, for the opportunity of being in this uh, university. It's, uh, it's a pleasure, it's a very big university, one of the greatest of Latin America, maybe the greatest. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here and, and I want to congratulate uh, Federico for his 60th birthday. You are still very young, I hope you can do mathematics for the next a lot of years. So, so uh, I will talk about this subject, quadratic points of surface in P3. This is a joint work with Ronaldo, who had talked the last talk. And uh, that it is very close to, to his talk, but a bit different, okay. So, P3, uh, in fact, means the, the three-dimensional projective space. Here is an outline of the talk. First, I will talk some known facts in, for surfaces in three space, the Euclidean case and the affine case. And then I will talk about quadratic points, uh, which are, uh, uh, they can be elliptic or hyperbolic. And the important uh, Darbu directions in this work, the, the, they are uh, the main theme, what happens at the parabolic curve. And then I'll finish with poincare hopf theorems and some questions. So, uh, uh, just to start, uh, the uh, Euclidean umbilic point is a point where the, the Euclidean shape operator is a multiple of the identity which is equivalent that the both principal Euclidean curvatures coincide. And there are some well-known equivalents to, to being umbilic. Uh, the first one says that uh, there is, exists a sphere with third-order contact with the surface at the point. We can also consider the stereographic projection from S3, the three-dimensional sphere. Uh, to a tree, then a point is umbilic if and only if its pre-image is an inflection point of the pre-image of the surface. Another equivalence, you can consider the cylindrical pedal, Euclidean cylindrical pedal, which is the normal, n is, here is the normal, and the distance, n and p, from a, a, a given point q0, then P is umbilic if and only if the image of P is an inflection of the cylindrical pedal. Uh, it is also well known gen that generically an embedding of this sphere has at least four umbilic points. And uh, it's also a, a famous conjecture Caratelder conjecture that says that an embedding of this sphere has at least two umbilic points. Now, let us consider the, the affine case, the, the affine points, and then we can, uh, an affine umbilic point is a, is a point where the affine shape operator is a multiple of the identity, which is equivalent that both principal affine curvatures coincide. We can also consider the affine cylindrical pedal given as the conormal nu and the, the support function that uh, is the last coordinate. Then P is umbilic, it is affine umbilic if and only if the image of P by the uh, at the affine cylindrical pedal, pedal is an inflection. So, so uh, 
we have only the other two equivalents we cannot talk here. Uh, one is about uh, the, question, the, the stereographic project, projection that it does not have sense in the affine, in, in the affine framework. And the, the other equivalence is about the, uh, the, the, the approximation by, by a sphere. It's a third order approximation of a sphere which happens in the umbilic Euclidean case. Here, we could think about third order approximation by a quadric, but this is not true. It, this does not correspond to a fine umbilic. This corresponds exactly to quadratic points. So, but we have also an equivalent theorem, an embedding of this sphere has at least four affine umbilic points. This is also known. So, uh, the main theme of this talk is about quadratic points. Uh, and a point, any point of, of a smooth surface admits an oscillating quadric with second order contact. Quadratic points are those points which admit an oscillating quadric with a third order contact. As I have mentioned, they do not coincide with the final umbilic points. They are different points. <laughs> Generically, they are isolated points of the surface in the elliptic region, they are called, also called ellipse nodes. In the hyperbolic region, they are also called hyperbo nodes, which it's a hyperbolic nodes. They talk about hyperbo nodes. Uh, as Ronaldo told us in the last talk, in the hyperbolic case, they are self intersections of the Flecknoldau curve the set of points where the asymptotic lines have inflections. Uh, now I'll talk about the, the, a very important uh, uh, directions that, that are called Darbu directions in a surface. If you consider any point which is not parabolic, uh, then they are, it is elliptic or else hyperbolic. If they are non-quadratic, there is a three-dimensional family of quadrics with a second-order contact with, a, with the surface at, the, at P. But among these quadrics, we can choose three one-parameter families that are different. They have this property that the contact function is a perfect cube. If P is hyperbolic, only one of these families is real. If P is elliptic, then all these three families are real. The new directions of the perfect cubes are called the Darbu directions of M at P. Uh, this, uh, I have, there is a, a reference for this work of Darbu, it's a book of 1880, that I have found it in this other book of Lane. They, they were the reference to this work of Darbu. Just to, to see how to, it works, in an elliptic point you can, uh, there is a normal form which is like that, written like that, there is a normal form close to an, at an umbilic, at an elliptic point. Any quadric of this form will have an order two contact. But this, if you, if you choose alpha equal to minus C, beta equal zero, lambda is arbitrary, then uh, the contact at order T is a multiple of X3. Those, so we conclude that zero one is the Darbu directions. And similarly, we can obtain the other Darbu directions. C equals zero means that the point is quadratic. 
Again, uh, again, we can do this in a uh, hyperbolic point, but I, I, uh, Ronaldo had done this calculation in his talk. So I just repeat it here that uh, you have, uh, if you have this normal form in asymptotic coordinates, and then uh, all these quadrics here have second order contact. But this quadrix with alpha is equal to minus 3a to b and beta is equal to minus 3a b2. This quadrix has the, the contact function is a multiple, is a perfect cube. Thus, the root of the perfect cube is the Darbu direction. In the hyperbolic case, this is just one direction. Again, if a b equal to 0, 0, then we have a quadratic point. We can also see the Darboux directions in terms of affine geometry. Uh, at any point, you can write this basic equation. The, here, D is the derivative of the space. And, and delta is the affine Blaschik connection, C is the affine Blaschik normal, H is the affine Blaschik metric. At the elliptic part of the surface, H is definite, and the hyperbolic part, H is indefinite. The cubic form is the, just C is given by nabla H, it is uh, symmetric in the, the three variables, and the point is quadratic is equivalent to say that the cubic form is zero. Uh, the, the cubic form, uh, the conformal class of the cubic form is projectively invariant. This is uh, well known. And also well known that if you have that c equals zero at all points, that m must be a quadric. Now to understand the behavior of, of the Darboux directions, which are in fact the, the null directions of the cubic form, we must consider the quartic form, nabla c, which in fact is not symmetric in the four variables. At quadratic points, the quartic, the quartic form is also projectively invariant. So uh, that's why all our results here are in P3, the projective space. Now I want to understand the true web at elliptic part of the surface. True web is formed by the null directions of the cubic form, which is also Darboux directions, they define a tree web on M. And the singular points of this tree web are the quadratic points. If, if you write the surface in this Monge form here, uh, quadratic points, we have C1 equals C2 equals 0, and the cubic form is written like that, where A, B, C, and D are given below. Uh, we shall assume that the singularity is isolated, which is equivalent to AD minus BC equals 0. Isolated sing singularities are called simple, and the characteristic polynomial is obtained by uh, substituting dx by x and dy by y in the cubic form. Uh, this name, simple and characteristic polynomial, were defined in the, the paper of Juan Nuno Ballesteros uh, about the n web. Uh, you shall assume that the roots of Q, the characteristic polynomial, are simple. And in this case, we, we say that Q, the cubic form is non-degenerate. So 
we show we, all these conditions are generic conditions. The cubic form can be factor in the elliptic part. We can factor the 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 cubic form in three linear forms. Take the polar blow up. Take the pullback of the form. The singularities of pi star omega are of the form zero t. Uh, zero is because we are in the, the at a singular point. T is the angle. And T must be a root of the characteristic polynomial. Uh, there are three vector fields, which are six, six pi periodic, uh, in the new directions of pi star lambda j. This sing each singularity of pi star omega is a singularity of a unique xj. This, all these are in the paper of one. Uh, for a, a non-degenerate cubic form, the singularities of pi star omega are hyperbolic. Hyperbolic. In, uh, yes. Also, it is proved in this paper that any sim simple singularity of the tri tri web has index uh, plus or, more or, or less one third. In fact, uh, the, the, we have to, uh, to define the index, but it is done in the paper. And for a non-degenerate cubic form, there are three types, three possible types of singularities. The D1, which is also called lemon, D2, mon star, and D3, cubic star. These are the configurations of the tree web close to a quadratic point. We can also take another approach to this problem by uh, taking the P star omega and take the linear parts. We forget the, the part in R2. Write Q, Q of Q is the characteristic polynomial. Q is another one, is the, this other polynomial. And then we shall analyze the vector field 3RPQ, which is the, in the new part of the, the linear part of pi, st pi star omega. Uh, the, uh, then we have, we can prove that the, if omega is non generate, 0t is a singular point of xj. The eigenvalues of the linear part of 3RPQ at 0t are proportional to the eigenvalues of the linear part of xj. Those you can work with this vector field to, to understand the behavior of, the, of this quadratic point. We can also use complex notation here. In general, a four degree polynomial in two variables can be written like with these complex notations, with uh, alpha, beta in C, gamma in R. And, but for the characteristic polynomial of a cubic form, then we have gamma equals zero. Thus, the, it is Q is the real part of alpha Z4 plus beta Z4 Z bar, and it, it happens that the Q is exactly the complex conjugate of Q. Uh, this form I, I have seen in the paper of Poston Stewart, 1988. Then it is natural to consider the complex uh, function Q plus IP. It is the restriction of a holomorphic fact, or holomorphic map, map. And then, it, in fact, you can write this. Q plus IP is, is equal like is this form. We, we must count the number of intersections of Q plus IP with the positive and negative imaginary axis, since 
the, the intersection of imaginary axes are the roots of Q, so the, the singularities. And uh, if you know, if you are in a positive or negative imaginary axis, we know the signs of the other directions to understand if, if you have an hyperbolic singularity or, or else an attractor or else an ball. And uh, for this purpose, we can reparameterize this, this formula 1 by formula 2 and to obtain A equal I. With this parameterization, this space of parameters we write in complex form, then we have this asteroid here, which is already in the paper of Poston Stewart. That this uh, asteroid separates the part where Q has two roots from the part of where Q has four roots. And, but there is another curve, important curve, which separates uh, the part where uh, even with two roots we have different behaviors of the, the cubic form. So the curve we can see treat, uh, taking theta equal zero, so we are in the, in the imaginary axis. For r, r, r greater than two we have the, the lemon, for r between one and two we have the, the cubic monster, and for r smaller than one we have the, the uh, cubic star. So this is another way to, to think about the, the, the uh, quadratic points in the elliptic part, and we shall also analyze the quadratic points in the hyperbolic part. Again, the, the, the Monge form in a hyperbolic point is uh, this one, we can use this one, and then a quadratic point C1 equal to C2 equals zero. The cubic form is given by this formula. Uh, we shall assume that the singularity is isolated and the inflections of the asymptotic lines are ordinary, which is, means uh, a for zero, a zero for not different from zero. Characteristic polynomial is again obtained by substitute, substituting dx plus by x and dy by y. And then you can take the, the line filed in the new directions of pi star omega and consider this polynomial Q. The singularities of X are of the form 0t, where t is a root of Q of t. Moreover, the singularity is hyperbolic if and only if t is a sim simple root of Q. Again, we shall use the same vector field, 3RPQ, where P is given by this formula. In this hyperbolic uh, context, we have not this conjugate, that P is the conjugate of Q, but uh, this is not true in the hyperbolic case. Uh, Q has only simple roots, we shall assume this, and uh, let take zero to be a root. The eigenvalues of the linear part of 3RPQ are proportional to the eigenvalues of the linear part of X. With this we can obtain the, the all possible phase portraits of the, the of the foliation that is the annihilating the cubic form. It, it may have, uh, the characteristic polynomial may have zero, two, or four roots. The possible fortress, 
face portraits are focused, which is shown here. Note with two or four characters clients and a saddle. The first three has I index one and the latter index minus one. So the, these are two possible, the, the, the four possible phase portraits near a hyperbolic singularity, a hyperbolic quadratic point. It's important also to understand what happens at the parabolic curve. At the parabolic curve, we consider this model at the generic point, A2 point, in this model. Uh, the origin is parabolic, asymptotic direction is 0, 1, 0, and 1, 0, 0 is tangent to the parabolic curve. The conformal class of the cubic form is given by this formula, which was calculated. Thus, for x, y close to 0, 0, in the elliptic part, the new directions are close to y, y, and x. In the hyperbolic part, the new direction is close to x. It's important that you have at least one direction that is uh, being tangent to the parabolic curve at this point. At the cusp of Gauss, also call it a Godron, we take this uh, model. In this case, 0, 0 is a parabolic point. And 0, 1, 0 is both the asymptotic direction and tangent to the parabolic curve. The conformal class of the cubic form is obtainable by this formula. x, y close to 0, 0 in the elliptic part, the null direction are close to y. In the hyperbolic part, the null direction is close to y. So, with this, we can conclude the following theorems. In the elliptic region, uh, bounded by a parabolic curve, P, we denote the true web by, uh, by E. Uh, we can choose a line of line filed of the true web and then extend it continuously to P by consider uh, E1 tangent to C. So we have the following proposition. For a generic surface, the sum of the index is equal to the Euler characteristic of E. As a corollary, if you have a compact surface, convex surface, then for a generic compact, uh, compact convex surface, M has at least six quadratic points, since the index is one-third generically, plus or minus one-third. Uh, this is, looks uh, a result that uh, we haven't seen it anywhere, so we, we find it interesting, but it should, don't know if it is known, but it is we know just classical mathematics, old mathematics, maybe it's known, we don't know. We couldn't find it. Uh, hyperbolic, in the hyperbolic reg region, again, bounded by a parabolic curve, in the, in the generic surface, the sum of the index is equal to the characteristic Euler of age, of the region age. As a corollary, this result of Uribe Vargas that Ronaldo mentioned, for a generic surface in a generic hyperbolic disk by a, bounded by a parabolic curve, there is another number of quadratic points. This is a consequence of the proposition since the characteristic Euler of a disk is one. And, the, and generically, the, this, the index in the hyperbolic part are plus or minus one. So we, have, we must have an odd number of quadratic points. A remark, just to, to recall what 
Ronaldo has done. Uh, there are examples of hyperbolic tori in Aspri with no quadratic points. But uh, I think he doesn't prove anything about uh, hyperbolic tori in P3. That's a problem that he is working on it. Where is Ronaldo? Am I not seeing him? No, ah, Ronaldo. So I think he will do it. Let's see. Yes, you can also take all these results together and obtain that the sum of, for generic surface, the sum of the indexes of the quadratic points in the elliptic region and the hyperbolic region is equal to the Euler characteristic of the surface. To, to, uh, to end, I have some, we have some questions that we are discussing that we don't know uh, if, there is, if there are some known results. For, uh, the, the first one, can we choose a focal set for the, for the quadratic points, set of centers of osculating quadrics, which have singularities at quadratic points? Not know because we have a one parameter of osculating quadrics, which is the better one. Uh, if you look at the, the literature of this kind of things, which are very classical, there are many different choices of a better osculating quadric. So, don't know. Uh, another thing is, can we embed uh, M in a four-dimensional space such that the quadratic points correspond to inflections? Maybe. What about singular points? Uh, if we have singular points of a surface, isolated singular points, can we calculate the index of the Darbutri web? I imagine, yes, I have, I will show you an example of this. Other questions about higher dimensional space. The new directions of the cubic form define a tree web of hyperplanes. Again, two of these hyperplanes may be complex. Can, you general, can we generalize these results to higher dimensions? Not know, but just to finish, I will show you a, a, a singular surface, singular at zero, zero, but we can calculate the cubic form at, in a neighborhood at the, of this point. And the, the, uh, it's an hyperbolic region, so we have just one new direction. And we obtain this foliation by integrating the, the, these new directions. And it has index minus one. It's just uh, an example. Thank you. Non-generic is, dif is difficult because you, have, you may have a very degenerate cubic form and it may have many uh, uh, index very different from one third if you don't choose, uh, if you choose a, a point with a non-generic. You ha may have indexes very different, much bigger than one third. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Um, don't know. Uh, uh, this is. That's a good question. <laughs> I haven't thought about it, but certainly I will say, because this it's an interesting.
it's not the character of direct conjunction, but it has the same flavor of it. Thank you. Um, can you realize indexes, different types of indexes with negative sites? Minus five, minus five, In the true app? Yeah. Do you have examples realizing? Or no, 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 no. Just this is a with some. Yes, uh, no. I, I, uh, I imagine with negative index, no, negative index or positive index. Uh, I don't know even if you have bigger than one. That's what Juan is, is conjecturing. No, it's a good question to think about this. Okay.